Hi, Sunday Club. Welcome to half term. Usually, some of us travel and go away over half term and maybe you had plans and they had to be cancelled because of the coronavirus. What are we going to do instead? I hope you have some great plans for this week. Just fun times, um, even though we are at home. Christopher and I, we sometimes travel with this book. We have that on our dining table and every now and then we say, where shall we go now? And we read and discover something about one of the many countries we have around this globe. I love books. They help us to go on adventures even if we maybe can't go on an adventure ourselves. So here is a big backpack that has traveled with me for a few decades and um, I love the idea of having all the things that I need on my back and I just can go anywhere. So, because we can't go anywhere at the moment, let's see what adventure we could have regardless. Ah, we can have a prayer adventure. And I hope that most of you have received either this one, the Try Praying, or if you're a teenager, this one. There is also one um, for those of you who have not started school yet. Um, but we've run out of those booklets and we are waiting for more to arrive. But they are somewhere stuck in the post because um, Royal Mail are so, so busy. So things are a bit delayed. So if you have not received a book, please don't worry. It will arrive, but it might take a few extra days. If you have not received anything by next week, Wednesday, can you get in touch with me and we'll um, make sure you get a book then, okay? There is also this amazing prayer resource. We have prayer week this week and prayer week is for all of us. Um, this is on the church website. You can download it. We've mentioned it to the adults already. It's great fun and for every day you can do a little prayer activity that helps you to think and connect um, with God in prayer. Lots to discover. That's an adventure worthwhile having. And what else have I got here? Oh, I've got a monkey here. This monkey was given to me by my godfather when I was probably four or five. And it's one of the few things from my childhood that have traveled with me right to today. And it sits in my study. That reminds me, we've got the Crazy Panda video to watch. So let's watch this and join in with this fun song. Look at all the animals, look at all the places around the world. Talking in French, Spanish, Greek to Mandarin. Solo hay un creador. So clap your hands and sing. Shout out and worship him. So clap your hands and sing. And let the praise be given. Oh wow, what a God. Oh wow, what a God. There's no one like you. There'll never be another. Wasn't that fun? I've got one more thing in my backpack. It's the Bible, the Adventure Bible. And today's Bible passage is in John 17, 1 to 11. If you're a bit older and if you've got your own Bible, go and find John 17, 1 to 11 and read for yourself. I'm going to tell the story in a short version, which is more aimed at the younger children. Today's passage is about actually Jesus's longest prayer that we have in the Bible. And it helps us to think about Jesus talking to the Father about being glorified and he also prays for his followers. This is Jesus.
and Jesus is talking to God. Jesus looks up to heaven and says, giving glory to me, give glory to me, your son, so that I give glory to you. My friends, here, lots of people, lots of friends of Jesus. My friends here will give glory to my name also. I wonder what it means to glorify someone. Have you ever thought of that? What does it mean to give someone glory? I think it means to praise or honour someone greatly. Today, we want to think about how we can give glory to Jesus through what we say and through what we do. Please download the activity sheet because that will give you more ideas of what you can do and think about with together with your family how we can give glory to Jesus in our lives. You can also make a glory jar, a Jesus glory jar. Look at this. Lots of glitter. It's very easy. You need to do this with an adult and all you need is a jar with a lid. Fill it with water. Add a little bit of glycerin. If you don't have that at home, you can get it from the supermarket. It's in the bakery section. But you can also just pop me a message and I'm very happy to share some of my glycerin with you because you just need literally a teaspoon. And then you add some glitter, whatever you might have in the house. I haven't got nice glitter, but I've got some lovely sparkly stars. I've got a bit of glitter, but it's very, very fine glitter. So I think you might find the glitter that you've got at home is working better. And then you need to screw the lid really tightly. This is where you need an adult. And then you can shake it. And as you shake it, you see it sparkling and all the sparkles start to settle. But while they do that, you can pray this prayer. Jesus, may we give glory to you always. Amen. You can stick that up here. So, we're almost done with Sunday Club. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to close Sunday Club with a short prayer and then I'll tell you about the challenge we're going to have for next Sunday. So let's pray. Jesus, we want to be people who notice your glory in the world around us. Help us to point to you with our words and actions so that people see how glorious you are. Amen. This week's challenge for next Sunday, we'll we will celebrate Pentecost and we would love to create a big mosaic of all our faces because all our faces make up the church. So here's your challenge. You could draw a portrait of yourself or your whole family and send it on email to us to rector at denhamparish.church by Thursday 6 p.m. We'd love to get your artwork. Go on, give yourself an extra challenge this half term. Stay safe, stay connected, stay hopeful. Bye!